Are you bronze for searching the differences between cycling and spinning? Now I'm going to zero you this confusion in this video. Watch on what's in the video. Many of us want to stay as healthy and as fit as possible. Some of us jog, go to the gym, or even do bicycle exercises. Doing bike exercises is becoming a popular way of shedding your extra fat. It is a good hobby and, at the same time, it is a great exercise. There are different types of activities when it comes to exercising with a bicycle. This includes cycling and spinning. For not-so-bicycle lovers, they have probably heard much about cycling. They would imagine a person wearing tight shorts with headgear on top riding a bicycle on the road. This is exactly true. But what is the difference between cycling and spinning? Cycling and spinning are both bike exercises. Can you even make exercise variations on a bike? We can make variations when exercising on a bike. However, the only variants we can change are the environment where we do our bicycle exercises, and of course, the type of bicycle itself. Just by looking at the semantics of the terms, cycling and spinning, when you do cycling, it can get you anywhere. On the other hand, when you do spinning, it can't get you anywhere. This might sound negative for the spinning bicycle exercise, but I'm just showing you which bicycle exercise is stationary or not. We have said earlier that cycling can get you anywhere, which is definitely right. In cycling, you have to ride on a real bike, put on your proper tire and gear, and you're ready to go. If you are doing cycling, you ride on your bike while you travel on easy and flat terrains. Among those easy and flat terrains are the road, the dusty paths of the park, and more. With cycling, you get to enjoy the beauty of the outside world while doing your healthy biking exercise. Now, does that get you anywhere? The answer would be yes, it does. Another form of bicycle exercise is spinning. Does spinning really get you anywhere? It's a yes and a no. In terms of the location where you do your spinning bicycle exercise, you can't go anywhere except inside a classroom. Spinning is held in classes. There is an instructor who will be guiding you. This might seem boring but it is as fun as the cycling since you still have the opportunity to be with your spinning classmates. Can it get you anywhere? It can, because you will reach your goal of being healthy and fit even if you are doing bicycle exercises in a classroom. However, the bicycles in a spinning class are not real bikes. If you have been inside a gym, they are like those exercise stress tests, only with spinning wheels. People get confused between cycling and spinning. We cannot blame them since spinning is also called indoor cycling. So is spinning cycling? It is an indoor cycling. We cannot generalize and tell that they are the same when they are not. So if you are in for a bicycle ride, we have cycling and spinning for you. These two bicycle exercises can help you stay healthy and fit. Cycling uses a real bike where spinning does not. Cycling is doing bicycle exercises outdoors where spinning is indoors. Both cycling and spinning are good forms of bicycle exercises. They both keep you healthy and fit. If you are the adventurous type, go for cycling. If you want to be a bit extra careful in your bicycle exercise, go for spinning. Spinning is also called indoor cycling. Well, now you're clear on these two cycling I think. Actually spinning is a direct fitness activity, but cycling mainly uses for commute or race. Thank you guys for watching our video. Please comment on your experience about spinning and cycling in the comment box below.